The stunning coast and beautiful beaches of Newcastle lie just a couple of hours north of Sydney in the heart of the Hunter region. You'll never run out of things to do in Australia's seventh largest city. Above the ground, on the water, down on the dunes, or switch down a gear and stay on the sand. If you like your holidays action-packed and adventurous, or prefer to relax at a more leisurely place, Newcastle is the place where everything you want is on your doorstep. So with Shrikant Skadambi adding his name to the list of a very few players who have reached men's singles uh, finals at three consecutive events, we now turn our attention to mixed doubles. And it is uh, Praveen Jordan and Debbie Susanto in their second consecutive final, semi-final here in Sydney up against the brand new pair from Korea, Kim Duck Young and Kim Ha Na. So as far as the mixed double super series standings are concerned, uh, Sheng Shi Wei and Cheng Ching Cheng, the world number ones, despite reaching the final last week in Indonesia, couldn't become world number ones. They've been in three finals so far this year. The number ones, Liu Kai and Wang Yaxiong, have been in four finals, and that's why they're still number ones. But up from number seven uh, to number three were the winners last week in Jakarta. The Olympic champions, Tantoi Ahmad and Liliana Nasir, winning their home Super Series event for the first time since the inception of the Super Series. Well, as far as the mixed doubles draw is concerned, by quarterfinal stage, we had seven different nations, four seeds, two Chinese pairs, and the two Chinese pairs, as you can see, are in the top half of the group in these uh, draw there with the beaten finalists from last year, Cheng Shi Wei and Cheng Ching Cheng. We're concentrating, though, on the bottom half of the draw and the former All England champions, Praveen Jordan, there he is, and Debbie Susanto won the All England title last year and the All England to Babington, what Wimbledon is to tennis. So that a huge achievement for the number seven seeds here in Sydney. But what about this pair from Korea? Kim Duck Young and Kim Ha Na. Well, we know all about Kim Hana. She's a former world number one in the mixed doubles with Go Sung Hyung, and in fact, a former champion here, won the title in 2014. They were semi finalists a year later, uh, but uh, Go Sung Hyung is no longer playing on the world stage, and there's a bit of a dispute about why that is. We won't go into that at the moment, but uh, I know for sure that this mixed doubles pair in only their second ever tournament together. They lost in the first round Would you last like to week, red the or black? Koreans, red. Uh, to the eventual champions, the Olympic champions, Ahmed and Nasir. Red it is. But here, a week we'll later, in court? only their second ever tournament. And who will receive? Here they are in the semi-final. And that's a remarkable start to a partnership. So Susan Taylor from Australia, our umpire, having conducted the toss of the coin. Players then start their two-minute warm-up period. So the Indonesian pair, one of only two seeded pairs left at semi-final stage. The other seeded pair, of course, are the world number ones. So Praveen Jordan, 24 years of age, born in Bon in East Kalamantan and he's a tall man that's just over six foot tall and he and Debbie Susanto who turned 28 last month from Palambang in South Sumatra have been as high as world number twos one week in October last year they were semi-finalists last year and lost out to the number one seeds this year uh, that's Sheng Shi Wei and Cheng Ching Ching. Now, all of their matches so far have been won in straight games, including the quarterfinal against Chan Peng Soon, the Olympic silver medalist, with his new partner, Chi Yi Si. So, as far as the Koreans are concerned, I mean, this is just remarkable, in my opinion that they have achieved so much in just their second tournament together. 25 years of age, Kim Duck-young. And 
and ignore that world ranking at the moment of 377 because they only have one tournament towards that world ranking, which was a first round loss last week. But Kim Hanar, as I was saying, has been world number one with Go Sung Hyung, with whom she won the title here in Australia three years ago. She has, in fact, been in 12 Super Series tournament finals, uh, two in women's doubles and 10 in mixed doubles. And uh, look at their results so far in this tournament. That second round match against the two left-handers from Hong Kong, uh, Tang Chung Man and Si Ying Sue, 27 minutes. And I rate that pair from Hong Kong. I think they've got huge potential. And then in the quarterfinal, they beat the number eight seeds, Pua Baranukro and Teirat Panachai of Thailand, who, of course, reached the final of the Singapore Ready, Super Series events, two Super Series events ago. So for them to win in two straight games shows just what good form this new Korean pair has been in. So our court officials, Susan Taylor and Jean-Philippe Berger. This, of course, will be the first meeting between these two pairs because this is only the second tournament that the Koreans have played together. And last week, they lost to a different Indonesian pair. Well, Praveen Jordan we know is very, very physically strong. If you were with us yesterday, you will have seen that in their quarter-final encounter against the Malaysians, Champing Soon and Chia Isi. All the pressure, of course, um, on the number seven seats from Indonesia. On my right. Praveen Jordan and Debbie Susanto, Indonesia. And on my left, Kim Duk Yong and Kim Hana, Korea. Debbie Susanto will serve to Kim Duk Yong. Love all. Play. So the number seven seeds, Praveen Jordan and Debbie Susanto, can they go one better one than their semi-final oh. appearance last year? In fact, they're probably hoping to go two better. Yeah, yeah they were quite superior yesterday against um, Chan and Che from uh, Malaysia. Sometimes I feel in, in the game that, that make good use of the Indian men's doubles, uh, men's singles coach that we've just seen coming until Praveen Jordan got to be even more ready, mm. in my opinion. Sometimes he's a little bit late back, but that's, again, his style, and that's also helped him develop the skills that he's got. Young looks very nervous to me. Yeah, it's, it's a little bit of a test for him, uh, in my opinion, here, because I, I actually saw their match in um, Indonesia where they uh, were leading 18 16 in one game up against uh, Nasir and Ahmad, who went on to win the tournament afterwards. So they, had, they really had um, the Indonesians in dire straits. They were leading 15 10 in the third game as well, one, but weren't really three. able to maintain the pressure. And, uh, I think it's important that they don't um, leave the initiative to the Indonesians. If they do that, I think they're going to have a tough time and we're going to see some dives from uh, Kim duk Kyun in the defense. Two, three. But he's, he, he's a little bit under scrutiny because he's been awarded the um, former number one world ranked mixed female mixed player since uh, Ko Sung Hyun is no longer with the uh, Korean team, so it's got a lot to live Service up to. Over. Four, 
Yes, but Two. I have to say, I, I know I appreciate the point you've just made, that last week they were in a winning situation and yet somehow contrived to lose the match. Yeah. I've been watching them earlier this week here in Sydney and I've been very impressed with him, I have to say, because you're right, the pressure is on him. Yeah. But within this semi-final, I think the pressure so, is on so the Indonesians because they're... This, they're expected to win this. Yeah. But um, and, and uh, if we go back a little bit in the results of, of Kim Dok Jung, uh, one that springs to my eye is the Osaka International from 2015, where he played with uh, Yum Hai Wong, a uh, very good um, uh, Korean uh, female mixed doubles player. She's not with the national team uh, at the moment, but um, former medalist at the World uh, Championships, I think it was in 2013. Five. He played with her and they beat Zhang Siwei and, and Chen Ching Chen in Osaka International. And we know that that was about the time before they were about to make their breakthrough in, um, in senior badminton. Yeah. awareness of where the gap was from over, Praveen over. Jordan. Susanto alert to the cross court drive on the defense Seven, from Kim Duck Young. Great defence from Susanto. Oh, she worked well in that rally, didn't she? Um, yeah, great defence, um, but also a sign of where um, Kim Do Kyung, in, in my opinion, lacks a little bit. He, he doesn't have that powerful smash, uh, and I think it um, perhaps cost them the victory last week against Nasir and Ahmad. They had to work so hard to, to score their points. Oh. And at, at crunch time, server, server. it's just so nice to have Five, a, a point scorer uh, on your side of the court. Mm. And that really threatens to win points with attacking play. Oh. 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 A service error Six, and then a return nine. error from Praveen Jordan.
most Korean doubles players. Seven, seven, Kim Duck Young seven, has got the most wonderful ten. defense. That drive defense we saw from the backhand side turned the momentum of the rally. So to the mid game interval, the number seven seats seven with an 11 interval. 7 advantage. Just eight minutes played. Kadang lu bisa pelanin, kadang boleh enak lu sabet lu harus sabet. Jangan jadinya lu kebawa pelan, lu kebawa pelan nanti lu sendiri yang gak enak feelingnya. Ya, jangan ragu-ragu, kasih setengah-setengah lu baru start. Setengah-setengah baru start. Untung aja antisipasi, kan udah enak kelihatan. Jangan kaget-kaget gitu. Debbie, setiap kali kan net, dia pasti balikin lagi di atas kepala. Oh! Kan dia ada tiga, net satu. Tepat sini dulu. So the Indonesian coach, Vita Marissa, who won the women's doubles title here at the Australian Open in 2013. Kim, Kim, switch. Yeah, just the year before it became Super Series. That's correct. 11-7. It's interesting to see the role of Kim eight, Hana compared ten, to when she played eight, with Kuzun Kyun. Uh, she's much more active in this uh, mixed doubles here with Kim Duk Kyun. Whereas Kuzun Kyun, very, very strong attacking player himself and, and capable of covering uh, at least 70, 75% of the court. Uh, here, it's much more uh, a teamwork. Let's go wide. Yes, and I, I think the Nine, fact that, 11. as you pointed out, that Kim Duck Young, he needs more weapons from the back of the court. Yeah. So if he hasn't got the weapons at the moment to play the winning shots, he's got to build the rally more to involve his partner at the net. Yeah. And we also saw that the Kim Han Nam was moving a bit further Seven. back, even though she covered the front Twelve. court. So, so she's sort of helping built this up and, and playing a little bit more like a, a, a women's double style, mixed double, so to speak, with yeah. just with the hard hitting, the harder hitting male player. Service over. 10, 12. another example 13, of her trying to 10. get more involved in the rally missed on that occasion but look how she's really hunting the shuttle Kim Hana oh, yeah she's lethal at the front of the 14, court Debbie Susanto can't give her any half chances look at that Oh, that's brilliant.
Oh, good backhand. Yeah. Well, it's an excellent rally and quite clearly the longest rally of the match so far. Service over. 11 14. A little interesting fact um, in terms of the old partnership Kim Han I had with um, Ko Sung Hyun. Yeah. Took it early 12, in the mid-court area. Drove it cross-court. Yeah, the um, the partnership that uh, Kim Hana had with Kusun Yun, um, a number of players and coaches noted that they were actually entered into the World Championships in um, in August in in Glasgow. That's no longer the case. They have declined the uh, invitation now on the latest qualifier list to the Worlds. Yes, I think perhaps more accurately, they haven't declined. Their association yeah. has declined. That's going wide. Yeah, good work from Praveen Jordan at the back of the court. Service over. 15-12. Mere 31 shots. Yeah, we had that long rally just before. Mm. Was that 50 shots or something like that? 56, yeah. And actually, I think the longer the rallies are, the more it's going to suit the Korean pair. Yeah, no doubt about it. No doubt about it. Sixteen, twelve. I mean, it was it was amazing that uh, Ahmad and Nasir were were capable of winning on home soil because um, Nasir's knee injury really didn't look that good in that first Service round match. Over. There, but um, 13, she played better and better, and uh, Ahmad definitely played better and better uh, throughout the tournament. Um, here, I think we have two very mobile Indonesian players opposite the Koreans, and that could make that task a little bit tougher than in Jakarta. Look at that. Launches herself towards the net. Kim Han Ah, beautiful control. Look how early she takes that. Look at that. Fabulous. There she is again. Oh, there's a challenge here from the Indonesians. I fear it may be a wasted Gone challenge because challenges. I saw that as landing in. I thought that was brilliant from Kim Ha Na. But once again, Steen, she's really making the effort to take it early. Yes, it was in. Another great play from Kim Ha Na. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. It's Service super over. the way she racket yeah. carriage is high, she reaches 17. out, takes it as high as possible. Yeah, so she definitely seems to have grown with the uh, 
added responsibility in this uh, mix double here with Kim Dok Hyun. And of Why? course, playing a little bit more patient style, they need to get a feel of their opponents in order to to uh, suit their own style to what they're up against. That's gone wrong. 16, 17. Just one point in it now. And they can't afford to, to loosen the grip, the Indonesians, because the Koreans, they are just breathing down the neck. Oh, that's going wide, I think. level and that a clear illustration of what you were saying earlier yeah. steam because Kim Young really three smashes oh. there and he couldn't get it no. any advantage no on the contrary uh Debbie Susanta turned it around but nonetheless they won the rally so 17 all And the problem in, in many ways runs in the family with the Koreans because um, they haven't produced that many hard hitters. Um, Lee Young Day didn't really um, hit that hard a smash either. Um, Ko Sung Hyun and, and Shin Bik Chol, they were good smashes in my opinion. They, they still are good smashes, but, um, but not in the uh, world circuit at the moment. Um, so. Gives the opposition uh, a couple of extra chances compared to when you have a, a lethal attacker Service like uh, Halloween Jordan. All. Oh, once again, it was Kim Ha Na taking it early. Just a little half court push from the backhand side. Yes. Well, asking to change his racket, Praveen Jordan. And the strings weren't broken, perhaps feeling that the grip on the handle was uh, a little bit saturated with perspiration. Join Ming Ho. 1918. Play. Korean coach getting quite animated. Excellent shot from the Davis Center. Just past Kim Hana. 20. Yeah, all about placement. Past the front 18. court player, but landing in front of the rear court player. And now two game point opportunities for the number seven seeds. Oh. Oh, good return. Service over. 19 20. Misjudgment of what mean? Who was there all the way? Between the legs. The trick shots Game. from Praveen Jordan between the legs and saves the rally First and game. closes out the opening game 21 19. Jordan and Debbie Sisanto 21 19. 22 minutes. What a final rally of oh, that opening game. Extraordinary. Here it is. Look at that. That's amazing. And still wins the rally. Terrific. 
20 seconds, court one, 20 seconds. Well, you can just see in the background that the other mixed doubles semi-final, the players leaving the court, and I can tell you that last year's beaten finalists and number one seats, Cheng Shi Wei and Cheng Ching Cheng, have come through a wonderful battle in their semi-final. So the winner of this match... Second game will face the world number Love ones all. tomorrow. Play. Hey. Oh. Oh. And the interesting thing, in my opinion, here Serve in the second over. game is to see whether the uh, Koreans, One. Kim and Kim, whether Love. they can uh, capitalise on that little drift alongside the court there is i mean kim dok Kyung will get a little bit of help in his um thank you smashes can they still control the defense and uh, make the indonesians play long rallies oh that's a great return of serve service over one all hmm. kim dok Kyung just practicing his serve as he returns the shuttle. Yes, sir. Yeah. Two, one. It's becoming more and more noticeable to me, Steen, the, the point one. you were making in, during the first game, that Praveen Jordan has this weapon. He can attack, he can put the shuttle on the floor, yeah. whereas his uh, opponent, Kim Duck Young, seems to struggle. He struggles, and, and, and um, if, you, if you draw a line on, on the court from where the players can kill it, I mean, then that line... Um, it's uh, much further back for the Indonesians than it is for the Koreans, which is a huge, huge advantage. Yeah. Four, one. The Indonesians, they don't have to be that precise in their defense uh, in order to survive, but uh, the Koreans, they got to be, got to have awfully good um, shot quality in their defense to survive. Well, the Koreans have got to be careful Five, here. Five, one. Can't afford errors on return of serve like that. No, and especially when, when they have such a hard time scoring points themselves. I mean, had it been Jordan and Susanto, I mean, they, it's more acceptable for, for them to make a, a net serve, serve or, over. or an easy Two, error because they can score five. easy points as well. But, but when you are... Relying on, on hard work to score points and perhaps longer rallies, then it's very, very uh, ah! difficult if you fall behind. Service over. Six, two. Service over. 
three, six. Look how alert she is, Debbie Susanto. It's a good rally. Oh. Sensational final shot from Travine Jordan. Service over. He's a Seven, lot more than nine. just power. His awareness of where the gaps are is very good indeed. Look at that. And we saw it yesterday also against um, Chen and Chair that he's got such a great touch on the drop shots. He's using his uh, his big weapon, his big smash as a threat, and then sort of gets the opponents to step back half a foot. And um, very, very well placed drop shots does the damage then. Yeah. Service over. Six, seven. Yeah, misjudgment. There, thought that was going wide, but it landed on the line. Good return of serve. Yeah. Forced the short lift with a tight spinning net shot on serve the return of serve. Yeah, I, um, Six. last week uh, I had uh, this, um, yeah, it was almost frustration that um, that the opponents didn't uh, flick Liliana Nasir when it was clear that she didn't move well. Uh, and it's a little bit the same here, I mean, why not flick Debbie Susanto when you know that she's going to make really, really good returns on so the short so services, her. when she's probably going to get the advantage for Seven. her pair. Eight. And, and you know that you, yourself, you play a defensive playing style. Why not play defense against the weakest smasher on the uh, opposite side? I, I, I don't get it. And when they, and when they flick, they flick to Pravi yeah. Jordan. Yeah, that, that, that could be uh, uh, just a, a precaution to get him away from the short service. But Nine, what a fantastic return. Seven. Excellent uh, flick of the racket. and. Uh, Steep smash there, and that means that he's going to get even closer to the net the next time they serve short to him. Well, he was trying that cross court drop shot, so yeah. which has been so successful, but that time making the error, Jordan. Eight. But it's also, he, he makes exactly the same movement as, it's, as if it's going to be a flat long. Mm. And, and if he mistimes that a little bit, it looks like a stupid mistake. But um, that, that's the cost of um, getting the shots to look alike, so it's important, uh, impossible for the opponents to tell which one it is. If you don't have that quick arm movement, then it doesn't look like a flat shot. Good rally. Oh my goodness. Down on her haunches to return that one. Yeah. Good work. Excellent work by both the Indonesian over. players there. Debbie is killing it Ten, almost uh, eight. on the inner tram line, I think. In the backhand side. Yeah, look how far she moves. Out to that backhand side. Yeah, it's 
of the mid-game interval. 11-8. With a three-point advantage. They had a four-point advantage in the opening game. Number seven seeds, Praveen Jordan and Debbie Susanto. Court one, 20 seconds. That's very interesting. Court one, Kim Hana, 20 seconds. Taking the commander's role within the partnership. He's obviously vastly more experienced, but even after the coach has given his instruction, she's still talking tactics, still encouraging. That's good to see. 11-8. Yeah, and, uh, and she's also in a quite Play. difficult position, uh, perhaps an even more difficult position than the players that have retired because they've done so by their own free will, but she's lost a partner. Yeah. Have to start all over again. Oh, crikey, I thought he was uh, going to play that at the last moment. Made the right decision well, in the end. Eight. So you can say um, Kim Hanashi was amongst the favourites to win the World Championship this year, and it's <laughs> suddenly she has no partner. Yeah. And she, I don't think even the, uh, she's not qualified at least with uh, Kim Do Kyun because they've only played the tournament last week, so definitely not uh, qualified. So she doesn't even get to go no. to the World Championships. No. Yeah, it's tough, isn't it? Tough qualification system. 12 8. And, and I mean, her, her chances of um, earning money gets um, lessened. Oh, yes, that's nice. Learned from his opponent, Nine, yeah. Kim Dut Young. Twelve. Looking as if he's going to hit the smash and then playing the drop shot. the game so well. Debbie Susanto looks she's back to put intercept the push and then immediately goes forward to the net and gets involved again. And, and the way I remember it, she hasn't always been oh. active in, oh. um, in the mixed Service doubles. Over. Um, so, uh, that's 10, something that she's um, um, evolved during yeah. the last couple of years. And I thought uh, up until the period um, just ahead of them winning the, the All England Championships, there were signs that, that they really were developing as a player. Service uh, over. Of course, got rewarded with 14, the All England title. 10. Interception that makes the difference in the rally. Oh. Yeah, and it's, it's, in my opinion, it's really difficult at the moment to win playing oh. uh, 
patient or too patient playing style if you don't 16. have the weapons um, in terms of um, winning shots, smashes, extreme deceptions and so on. Ah. It's tough to win. Um, we saw the, the, the one, of course, best, uh, who, who did it best that was uh, Lee Bay, but he also struggled at big occasions because he had to play a patient playing style. And if you're a little bit nervous, as you mostly are on big occasions, then it becomes more difficult. Yeah. Dominated men's doubles so, with so different over. partners, but never got the world championship 11, title. 16. Never got an Olympic title in men's doubles. Yeah, that was a clever play there from Kim Duck Young. No, and it sounds awfully harsh that we're talking in those terms about Lee Yong Day when he was Olympic mixed doubles champion yeah. in Beijing in 2008. Good judgment. 16. <laughs> so it's time to make a move for Kim and Kim. No, that's not helping their cause. Service over. 17, 12. Oh, brilliant defence from Kim Ha Na. Service over. 13, 17. Is he holding his back a little bit, uh, Jordan, there? Or was it just precaution because it didn't go for that defence return? Well, I hope it's not an injury. Oh, that's lovely. 14, 17. Yeah, a couple of points and all of a sudden it's believable again. Beautiful touch that he's 18, got uh, Praveen Jordan. 14. And that was a singles player's movement. Playing tight net shot and moving back himself. Service over. 15, 18. on the service. Good one. Mm, even better return yeah. there. Service over. I would say if I had been the 19, Koreans, I would have challenged that one. 15. I think it would have been a wrong challenge, but I'd had to see it one more time if it's this close in the th second game. Otherwise, they are almost out of the match. Just let me deal with that. Service over. Attack myself, I can do it. play from the Indonesians Service they over. earn themselves four match point opportunities 20. match point 16 Whoa. Yeah, 
only needed okay. the one opportunity. 21-19, 21-16, the margin of their victory. And Raveen Jordan and Debbie Susanto through to a fourth Super Series tournament final throughout their career. Their first for seven months. Their first since reaching the final of Raveen Hong Jordan, Kong Debbie at the end Susanto. of last year. 21-19. Yeah, it was impressive performance. 16. Umpire just confirming that scoreline. 43 minutes in total. And Jordan and Susanto through to the final. 21-19, 21-16. There's a reason that the city of Sydney is Australia's leading destination for tourists. In fact, there are many reasons. While the water, of course, offers the best view for visitors and there's plenty of it surrounding this harbour city, those staying on land will find lots to love. Learn about the indigenous culture of the first Australians. You can see